everybody. Welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new style by Belle Tress. This one's called Lemonade in the color Butter Beer Blonde. Find out what makes this one so unique. Coming up. Lemonade is one of those short, very casual, messy, shattered bob styles by Belle Tress but it is a little bit unique in its style and its layering. Let's go ahead and drill down on the specs real quick and then we'll go through the style. So in the front, it says there's an eight and a half French front piece. Now I did measure it from my hairline to the tip of the hair in the front is about 10 and a half inches. My guess is they've taken the measurement just a little farther down on the temple. And this is based on the piece that I currently have. And in the back, we have a 10 inch crown meeting up with a two and a half inch nape. Creates a little bit of an interesting beveling effect there in the back. Lemonade features one of the creative lace fronts by Belle Tress, which is that single unit uh, lace front that stretches from temple to temple and does run back about halfway to the crown on the left hand monofilament side part. We're gonna get up close on this as we examine this color. This Butterbeer Blonde, uh, there's a little bit of a different application of this color to this particular style. And I hope that they continue to run this kind of a color distribution. It's even more like the Raquel Welch Shaded Biscuit, in my opinion, and you'll see why. So it starts with like a, sand, a light sandy brown, and it's very heavily highlighted with almost a platinum, an ash platinum. Just a very pale ash blonde ran all through the style, and it is on a medium brown root. Now what's unique about this and what kind of makes it remind me of the Shaded Biscuit is that they started to band the highlight right up to the lace front. For those of you that like that effect, it's really going to soften that lace front up quite a bit it's not so stark now this particular root is also um, it's considered a medium brown but um, it doesn't seem quite as harsh and stark as I have seen in the past on certain blondes they really did a beautiful job with this rooting it kind of graduates out into the style without having a stark line this color is really, really well done. Lemonade is a really fresh design from Beltress and that cafe collection, a welcome addition, in my opinion. Um, you'll see that the, the front pieces here kind of wing out just a little bit. I think that's kind of gives it a nice, fresh, unique design. Uh, you'll notice that this texture, although very shattered, uh, is also heavily textured at the ends. So even there's a bit of mild, choppy separation there the ends are just wispy light. The overall texture of this, the overall density is average and the, uh, the denier is fine. It just gives a nice wispy, airy, lightweight style. It's kind of straight and smooth until you get down towards the bottom. That's where that texturizing starts to take place and it kind of changes the shape of it just a little bit. That's where we're getting that kind of wingy look um, on the front. Now, before I show you the back, I do want to preface this by saying that you can see some variances from wig to wig, especially when it, there's curl involved. You can't quite get that the same on every style. We should always expect that there will be some differences. Now on this style, um, and I have not watched any other reviews of this style uh, as of t today's date, so I'm not sure uh, what anybody else's style looks like, but what you'll find in the back is a body wave. So the, the base layers, the nape layers here are going to have a body wave, a thicker mat of a body wave. They're kind of curly. It gives a lot of volume to the nape. And then on top of that, then they carry through the shattered texture. Kind of makes that crown layer stick out a little bit beyond that, uh, that nape layer. About trust, you'll notice that a lot of their styles um, that feature this, this shattered curl. It could be anywhere from a beach wave just to a, a shattered, tapered look like you see here on Lemonade, but they're all very rough cut. Each strand, they're not exactly even. So you have some longer pieces, some shorter pieces that lends itself to the beauty and uniqueness of each style. You may like that really well, um, but in my case, I think I'm going to go ahead and use some thinning shears just to blend that back in 
that crown in a little bit better to the nape. As you can imagine, it's kind of obvious to the eye that there's very little permatease in this style. Um, you'll find just a thin layer around the monofilament on the top. There's absolutely none here at the crown. And um, the, the nape, I don't sense any permatease. You're just looking at the body wave underneath that makes it kind of look a little more voluminous. Um, what I really love about it is that right out of the box, just a few shakes. I haven't done anything to the style. I haven't used any product. Uh, but it does seem to have a bit of a contour off of the lace front. I think that's beautiful. Here's a look at Beltra's Lemonade Cap. There is your temple to temple lace front, left monofilament side part, open sides and back, a standard velvet nape with strap type adjusters, closed velvet ear tabs. Very nice cap and it has lots of stretch. So like I always say, you can learn so much about a style just by watching it being manipulated through styling. Um, so I hope you learned something today. I'm just going to take you through a few little styles. We're going to focus on maybe creating a little bit, bit of volume if you like that. Also a smooth look. I think that the texture and lightness is just going to be perfect for ear tucks and for summer looks. Here I have with glasses. Looks beautiful with glasses. It also fits wonderfully between the ear and the ear tab. So much for joining me today for a look at the fresh new look by Beltress in their cafe collection called Lemonade. Such a fun style. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.